So we've got some replacement on this Mark IV Golf. Been heli coiled multiple times. As you can see, we've already got the gearbox mount off, <coughs> which is two 13 mil bolts and two 15 mil bolts. Once you've got that out, we're going to remove three bell housing bolts, which go through the gearbox into the sump. And they're 15 mil as well. And then the engine, engine bay cover on the left side. Disconnect your oil level sensor. And then this is my long ball joint 5mm Allen key. <coughs> Cheap set, but they do this job, and I only use them on this job. As you can see, the four bolts up the side go in on an angle and not straight. So getting a normal Allen key up there <coughs> doesn't work. Now you're going to remove all the sump plug bolts. All the sump bolts, sorry, not sump plug. And there's four in there as well. Now that's a pry bar and a pry bar slot just there. And look, where it's been telecalled multiple times, we had multiple shavings in the oil pickup. We've put a new, well, we took the oil pickup off and cleaned it all out. Back on. Now we're just measuring up our sealant tube, making sure we get decent flow. Obviously, I hope you've all had a good Christmas. I've been ill over Christmas and I still am, and it's the reason why this video is so quick. I do apologize for that. So, I personally like to go when I go around, I go on the inside of the bolt holes and once I've done that I then do a little hoop around the bolt holes just for extra measure obviously other people do it different but this way I do it never leaks and I apologize for the camera angle it was set up and it must have moved before I started only takes a few minutes to put this on obviously we're replacing this because someone's heavy coiled some multiple times some plugs aren't going anymore and I'm not risking another heavy coil in it as we recommended a new sum to the customer it's only 50 odd quid for the sum we're using the service anyway so So just follow this along. Now, it's better to have too much and too little, as when you torque down the bolts, they the, the ceiling will come out of the sides anyway, making sure it's an even surface. So just clean up my end a little there. And then just go around the bolt holes for extra measure. This is the way I've done it for the past eight years, and I've never had any issues with any sumps leaking. over on this one due to the background noise again I'm just going to let this run through I know it doesn't look pretty, but pretty is not what we're going for. We're going for a nice seal. And I like to run my finger along afterwards. You know, get that plumber's finish. So now we've done that. 
we're going to put the oil level sensor in. Now that's in and plugged in, we're going to put our three bell hours and bolts back through. Cleaned up the gearbox mounting, we're just going to pop that back in. Two thirteens and two fifteens. Now that is all fitted back in, looking nice. Just going to check, check the torque on the sump plug. Now we're going to change the oil filter and give it a quick clean up in there. So oil filter is all done. Now we're going to fill up the oil. It's costing two hundred and thirty-three thousand miles, man. Still going strong. Cause now we're going to start it up. Leave it running, and we're going to take the car up in the air. Now this is the engine running. We're just going to let it run up to temperature. Make sure nothing leaks out. So we've advised a new cap for this customer, just because it's been wired multiple times and it absolutely stinks under there. But yeah. You know, It's all looking good, no leaks. So, I hope this video has helped, guys. Any questions, pop a comment. And as always, please like and subscribe to this video. Thanks.